creators. I'm David Cho. I'm here today to talk to you about Adobe Photoshop. I just got off a Zoom chat with my therapist, $700 an hour, and she said to start with what I least would like to share. So I'll start with that. First thing, I just lied to you. My therapist costs $550 an hour, and I just said she costs $700 to make you think, I don't know, that I'm fancier than I am. You think I like sitting here? You think I like these clothes? You think I like this hair? So I'll start with what I least wanna share. I don't wanna be here today. How about that? How's that for honesty? I do not want to be here today. Quick. Google search on my name will, you'll find I am the highest paid living artist on the planet. What their, their fee, they're paying me, their fee will barely cover my uh, eBay cost for this month. I like buying expensive baseball cards and painting all over them. It makes uh, sports people angry. It's not the money. Do you think I like doing Zoom chats with publicity marketing teams for Adobe? Do you think I like hearing like the head marketing strategy guy that I have to hide an Easter egg red stool in, in the shot somewhere, that I gotta get a hero shot, then I gotta, you, you can't talk about this, you can't talk about that, you know, record yourself talking for about an hour, 20 minutes, and then we'll, sh we'll shave it all down, we'll edit it. That's a loss of control for me. I, I can't con control that. I'm guessing they're gonna cut off. I don't need the money. Highest paid living artist translates in Asian, which I am, Asians value money. So to them, I'm not the highest paid artist in the world. I am the greatest artist in the world. And you know who else told me that? My mommy told me that. She told me that every single day of my life. You are the greatest artist in the world. What does that mean? Comic book artist? Painter? Drawer? Sketcher? Am I a doodler? Is that what I am? What tools does it require for me to be a sketcher, a doodler? Pen and a paper. Materials that I can touch. Sketch. Draw. I'm working on my character defects with my therapist. The ones I'm focused on this week particularly are impatience and entitlement, which I'm sure are already coming through right now within the first several minutes. So bear with me. I'm starting with vulnerability. I'm starting with the thing I least want to share. I don't want to work for the man. I don't want to get a paycheck from a major corporation. It messes with my taxes. I just want to live my life. So what are you doing here? Why are you sitting there? for Photoshop because I have to, because I have to. I owe it to them. I must say the things that are not being spoken. I'm a Luddite. I'm an antiquarian. I don't like new things. I'm scared of new things. I barely, barely got a cell phone. I barely know how to text. Let me tell you a story. I wasn't good at anything, actually. <laughs> I got an award in junior high school for being the most quietest kid. They're like, uh, he's always sitting there in the corner. Isn't it amazing how he doesn't say anything? I wasn't good at talking. I wasn't good at making friends. I wasn't good at dressing myself. I didn't have any athletic skills. I wasn't funny. I wasn't smart. You're Asian. Shouldn't you be good at math? But I was good at drawing. I was good at sketching. I was get good at doodling. What happened when I was good at those things? I got attention. People liked me. Oh shit, the quiet guy, he can draw. Since I was a young boy to my teens and to a young man, Everyone said, that guy's gonna be an artist. That guy can draw. And I could. What I picture in my head can come out onto this piece of paper, on this canvas, on this wall. I can make that happen. My hand-eye coordination cannot catch a football, cannot swing a bat, but it can sketch. So you can imagine how I felt entering my first day of art school. The other best drawers on the planet are gonna be there. I'm excited. First day of class, my teacher illustrates Zipatone. Now Zipatone, it's a sticker. It's a sheet of stickers of tone. And only one company at the time made this in Japan for manga, for anime. So this teacher, I'm not gonna say his name, 
is telling us, first day of class, if you want to get this tone to turn the form, to get the shading, to, to, to set the background back and bring the figure forward and highlight it, one way to do it, zip a tone. Order it from this obscure company in Japan, wait, I don't know how much shipping is for that, I'm an art school student, I have no money, wait for the shipping and then you lay it down, you get your exacto blade, you draw your drawing and then you trace the outline of the figure and then you set the tone down, You the ruler, you stick it down, voila. You know who was not impressed? Eddie. Eddie was not impressed. Who's Eddie? Eddie was a guy with glasses and long hair and he had a mole right here. Eddie sat through the whole lecture. Eddie watched all this unimpressed. You already know where this story is going. This is 1995. Eddie goes to the teacher, excuse me, Mr. Why don't you just use Photoshop? Teacher goes, excuse me? I just showed you this thing that I've honed my skills and practice. I've just shared with you knowledge and information and wisdom of something that has taken me years to figure out. Eddie goes, why don't you use Photoshop? Now I had heard of the word Photoshop, I just didn't know what it meant. So what does Eddie do? Takes the picture of the drawing, exports it into Photoshop, whips out his laptop, shows the class. He selects the magic wand tool. Bing bong, 95%. <laughs> Grabs a tone, throws it on. Just did what the teacher did in seconds. 37 seconds, he did what it took this three hour class for this guy to do. The look on this guy's face, dying inside, dead. With the clicky clack, click of the button, this guy's job just disappeared. No longer relevant. I'm a Luddite. What does that mean? That means I like cassette tapes. That means I like Betamax. That means I like VHS tapes. That means I like holding things in my hand. I know that there's audiobooks. I know there's cell phones. I know there's tech everywhere. There's tech everywhere. So whose side did I jump on? Eddie's side or my teacher's? Thanks for showing us that, Eddie. But I'm using my hands. I'm not clicking buttons. That's like a robot. That's a computer. I'm going to use my hands. Eddie's a cheater. He hit a button. Bang. And the button's even called a magic wand. He didn't work. He didn't work hard. He's a cheater. Eddie's a cheater. Well, I like cheating. I'm a liar. I'm a manipulator. I like to cheat. Hey, Eddie, come here. After class. What was that? What, what, what wizardry was that? So Eddie showed me. There, there's a point to this story. I'm getting there. I have mixed feelings talking about you right now. I was painting a lot on the streets, illegally. I was also working on comic books and my illustration career. So I would do these paintings sometimes in oil and acrylic. And I wanted that deep richness. So I had to go to the store and purchase a bucket of polyurethane. You know what polyurethane smells like drying in your house? It's toxic. I felt my brain melting. I had trouble breathing. I developed asthma. If I stuck my hands in it, I, it would take days, weeks to get it out of my skin and my hair. But it made my paintings look pretty cool. It brought the richness out, the hue, the saturation, the depth. It was a beautiful thing. It was just a lot of work. Or filter Gaussian blur, magic lasso. A lot of magic. You're telling me I don't need to dump buckets of polyurethane on my paintings anymore? You're telling me I don't have to feather the edges with a paintbrush and if I mess up that I don't have to start over? Eddie showed me some tools and I didn't like it. I didn't like, he was excited about it because he's a digital artist. Now, digital artist comes with some baggage. When you tell someone you're a digital artist, that's the same thing as like telling them you're a glass blower or that you work in holography. There's some stink on it. It comes with some baggage and some judgment. You're not a real artist. You're not a pure artist. You're a digital artist, digitized. There's something in me that wants me to hate what Eddie's showing me. He's showing me these tools that are shaving hours, days, years off my life. So why am I sitting here today? Because I have no career. I am not here today without Photoshop. I see the world differently now because of Adobe Photoshop. I gotta give credit where credit's due. Because what do I want to do? I want to give you no credit. 
Photoshop's not cool. Digital art is not cool. What is my life? I am only going to show you the non-digital parts. Shaking spray cans, riding around at night with a hoodie on, on my motorcycle. Just kidding, I don't have a motorcycle. That's not my life. This is my life. Taking the art, putting it on the scanner, closing the scanner. Oh, oh open the too early. Let's do it again. Scan is complete. Export to Photoshop. Let's open that file up. It's pretty good. You got some skills, Dave. It's pretty good drawing. Let's tweak it a little bit. Cropping tool, select, crop, crop, crop it out. It changed my life. The cropping tool can correct anything. Any photo, any painting, any drawing, any image that exists can be fixed with the right crop. If you can crop in to the most aesthetically pleasing point of that drawing of that image, it can be saved. Oh, that's a shitty, excuse me. That's a horrible photo. That picture, that painting didn't come out right. It's blurry here. You smudged it here. Mm. Magic wand. How much do you want this magic wand to work? 35%. I like red. Red is my favorite color. Paint bucket tool. <coughs> Gradient tool. Are we in RGB right now? Let's go to CMYK. Your face looks a little weird. I'm going to puppet warp your face. Duplicate layer. Bing bong. Select the face with the magic lasso. Feather it. Let's give it a nine. Rubber stamp it. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. Puppet warp. Brank. Select. Magic wand. Image adjustment. Transform. Scale. Perspective. Free transform. Wham. Let's bring it out. Let's adjust the image. Bing bong bing. I don't like this place. Let's add some tone to it. Select magic lasso. Pixelate. Pixelize. Crystallize my face. This background is distracting to me. Let's select it. Magic wand. Boom. Set it back. Gaussian blur. 35%. Forget that. 100%. Boom. Now let's bring it all together with the color balance. Image adjustment. Let's go warm. Yellow. Midtones. Some slight purples. Hue saturation. Let's saturate it. That's the kind of look I like. Heavy saturation. Does it look better? Let's look at the image. Image one, image two. I like image two. Bring it to the front. Let's flatten the image. You want to save me? What are you going to save me as? A JPEG? You're going to save me as a cheap JPEG? Save me as a TIFF file. You're going to use some of that hard drive? Save me at 600 DPI so that if later we want to go to a poster, billboard, bus bench. That's my life. I just showed you my life. It's not sitting there with an X-Acto blade cutting out Zippo tone. Who's your favorite artist? James Jean, Shepard Ferry, Banksy? They all use Photoshop. Oh no, I like other Luddites like Chris Ware and Dan Klaus and Robert Crumb. Guess what? Photoshop. Guess what? Photoshop. Guess what? Photoshop. I'm ashamed to be a digital artist. I'm being honest with you right now. I'm ashamed. I'm ashamed. And the only way to, for me to feel better is to tell on myself. I work with my hand. I'm a craftsman. You could be both. It's not black and white like that. You don't have to be and or. I paint. I can do the zipatone. A lot of things I could do by hand, but there's some things I can't. And about that, I feel shame that I can't keep up with the computer, that I can't keep up with technology. Admitting that I use Photoshop, it makes me feel weird. There's an artist's code, hard work. When I go out with my fat caps and the spray in the night, shh, I don't want to admit to you. I tested it out on Photoshop first. I wanted to go out and have it be pure. I wanted to just see what it looked like. Whatever happens, happens. I'm an artist. I like to live in the moment. Expressive. Photoshop has changed how I see the world. It's changed everything. I'm going to end with gratitude. I'm grateful that a major corporation like Photoshop would pay me money, that I have money to buy my cards on eBay and paint over them. My Nolan Ryan rookie card. If there's even one person watching this, I'm grateful for that. I want you to know my story. I want you to know how much I resisted. Technology never loses. It never loses. And I wanted to hate it. And I wanted to push back against it. I wanted to fight. But once I just accepted it. I just fell into it. You mean I don't have to fill my whole house with toxic fumes anymore? That I can press a button and get the same level of saturation in my colors? Thank you that I don't have a 
hospital bill, that my lungs, I, I, I can breathe again. My asthma magically went away because of the magic wand. Bing, I can breathe again. <sighs> because I want to keep it real. I don't have to keep it real. I can see what it looks like on my laptop before I go out there and waste all that toxic fumes. Thank you for that. Thank you. And that's all I have to say today. Thank you. <laughs> It's not gonna break, it's like made out of metal or something. Hey, uh, Photoshop guys, I don't really hate you. I, I, I really enjoyed myself, actually.